production of um, Sean and Matt's wedding. Um, this is going to be actually the only speech of the night, I think, unless somebody says something sort of impromptu or um, out of the blue. And uh, lucky, I've just been talking a bit to my wife said, keep this speech short. But um, I've just um, I've just been talking to Chris there, and he's given me enough material for the whole night. Quite frankly. But, uh, so anyway, during I'll just lay out a few ground rules for the speech, if you don't mind. So, um, you know, if I say something funny, or half funny, it's okay to laugh. Um, if I say something nice about somebody, then it's okay to, to applaud. And if I, um, you know, if I just, just generally get into the atmosphere and any of the Americans here want to do what any of this whooping and hollering that you all do, then... <laughs> That's okay too. <laughs> so we're, we're here ready for the final part of the celebration of, uh, of Sam and Matt's wedding. It started with a proposal two years ago and um, an awful lot of planning has gone into, uh, gone into the wedding since then. Um, we've had a, a bachelor party which to me, it sounded like a fairly low-key event because I hadn't heard much about it until I just spent about five minutes with these guys at the table and uh, this, this doesn't strike me as a low-key event anymore. Um, some people here were at the bachelorette party and I understand that was, I understand that was quite, a, quite an evening and that, uh, I think Nicky Gallagher's family over a hangover but... Uh, <laughs> And then, of course, there was a wedding in Barbados. So we've had a, a superb wedding in Barbados, a fantastic occasion. You've seen this beautiful photograph, which I think captures the, uh, the occasion, but we've had a fantastic reception. And, and now we just wanted to celebrate here with you. It was very important that we, we celebrated here this evening with, with all our family and friends. Um, I, I just want to say something. I just. I want to say something about Laura, my daughter. Um, people who are actually at the wedding in Barbados will realise why I'm doing this. Because, um, you know, Laura, um, you know, I, I made a speech at the wedding and she, I sort of sat down and she said, great speech, Dad. And um, then the little footnote was, but you could have said something about me. <laughs> And uh, I think if, if anybody here watched the Royal Wedding in the UK um, last year, I think there was a bit of publicity in the paper about when, you know, I mean, you can probably sympathise with me as a man who's got two beautiful daughters, who, you know, was a little bit worried that it might go the Royal Wedding way and there was, you know, there was more publicity about the daughter who wasn't getting married than the one who was. Um, that, that, that could have been the case, but I just basically forgot to mention her. <laughs> so I mentioned that this was going to be the, the only speech tonight uh, that was made, and it, I think it will be unless somebody steps in. When we was in Barbados, we had several speeches, and I'm just going to try and capture the speeches a little bit tonight. Um, certainly, um, certainly Matt made a speech. Just a very brief but very heartfelt one at the um, at the reception in the evening, and um, one of the things he said was that he thanked Karen and myself for producing, you know, a beautiful or amazing daughter that he was about to marry. I mean, let's give a round of applause. So that was a great thing for, for Matt to say. Um, to my own wife, Karen, I'd just like to say, you know, wonderful woman, life partner I share my life with, and just referring to producing Sam, I would like to say I couldn't have done it without you. Um, <laughs> the next speech was from Troy, and I'm 
going to be serious for a minute. I mean, I, I, there's an undertone of seriousness uh, mixed in with my poor attempt at humour here. But um, Troy then, the best man, said a few words and um, really talked about what a good friend Matt and also Sam was to him. And I don't have anything funny to say about this other than I see ourselves surrounded by Sam, Sam and Matt's friends tonight. And I'm sure there's a lot of people here who would echo the same sentiments about what great people and what great friends you both are to them. Um, so maybe that's worth a round of applause for all the friends here. And the, the third speech was from my daughter Laura. I don't want to rec recreate the speech, but it was quite, it was quite witty. And in fact, um, there were some people that said that they thought that Laura had the potential to be half as funny as a dad, which is, uh, which is a, which, it was a good thing. Um, I'd just like to say a few words. I'd like, I mean, we've got, a, we've got some British here tonight. We've got, a couple of, we've, we've got a couple of Australians, but we've also got an awful lot of Americans here, um, here tonight. And um, obviously you, um, and I'm gonna be serious for a minute, you make a decision to relocate your wife and, and your family 4,000 miles. And you sort of, before you go, a few of us in the room have done it. And, and before you go, you sort of, you lie in bed and you think, what's going to happen? What's going to become of us and, and everything? Should we do it? Shouldn't we do it? And then when you actually do it, you, you come across here and you realize what a progressive country the US is and what great people it actually has. So in front of, you know, all the Americans here tonight, I really would like to thank you for, for welcoming us to the US. And, uh, <laughs> at the same time, we've got um, a few of Matt's family here tonight. There's a few more at the wedding, but it's, uh, it's a hell of a commitment when you spread a wedding out over sort of three weeks uh, to come here. So. Um, I'd like on the occasion that we join together, you know, two families, the Pierce and the Brown family. Um, I was kind of okay, you know, when people told me it was an emotional occasion, um, you know, sort of letting my daughter go or, or marrying Matt, and I was kind of okay in Barbados and making the speech on the wedding day. It was when the, um, somebody the following day just clicked on a Facebook page and showed me, and it said Samantha, pa Samantha Pierce. I mean, that was the moment that kind of, I wasn't quite ready for it, it really got to me. But um, I'd like to certainly welcome again Dan and Janet here tonight. It's, uh, it's good to have you here and, and certainly very pleased to have Matt as part of our, our family. And joining together with two families. And here's, something, here's something funny that happened that you, you'll notice I've just put down a large piece of paper. And I'm here picking up a very small piece of paper. And there's, there's two reasons for that. And apologies, if anybody was in Barbados, you're going to hear a bit of the speech again. Um, but there's another reason for that, is that we're actually videoing it, uh, the speech, for some people back in the UK who are very special to us, so that they could see it. And what happened was I was just about to say something nice about Matt and the, the battery on the video camera ran out. Um, honestly, that's a, that's a true story. That's absolutely, absolutely true. And so, so I'm actually going to say it again. Um, and apologies if you had this before, but um, about a year ago, um, no, a year ago, um, Dan and Janet were, were around at our house and after about, we'd have been having dinner, and about halfway into the dinner, Dan sort of almost like stopped proceedings, and he said some very, very nice words about Sam, and give a tribute about how pleased he was, and, and the, about the marriage, and would, would, would be about having the, the future, future daughter-in-law. To which Matt, I mean Matt sometimes sort of makes these sort of left field comments, I don't know if you guys have noticed. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, we know, yeah. And um, Matt just like put me on the spot a little bit and he said, Steve, he said, you never say anything like that about me. <laughs> to which, uh, you wonder where this, this is going now, don't you? To which Dan 
comedian the late Matt Tin said, Matt, I don't say things about Matt like that about you either. <laughs> but Matt, I'd just like to say again for the second time, and for the purposes of the video camera, and for everybody here, um, I'm very proud and pleased to have you as a, a son-in-law. I think our relationship's been a good one, and it's developing as, as time goes on. And I know exactly what you think about my daughter, and I know that you look after her. You told me often enough, and um, I know that, and that's good enough for me. So, welcome to the joining of your two families. I was kind of swimming in seeing Barbados and, and it actually struck me that probably publicly Dan probably said something nicer about Sam in front of a group of people than I'd ever said in my life. So I thought now when in Barbados might be a good opportunity to fix that. So Sam's looking a bit embarrassed now but I would just like to say Sam, Mum and myself love you to bits. Um, when I watch you down the aisle and when I see you there with Matt tonight and, and looking so beautiful and everything, uh, I'm very, very proud of you. We're all very proud of you. And um, good luck for the rest of your life together with Matt. So that just leaves me, I think, to, to cut this to an end to say, Thanks everybody for coming. We do really appreciate some people who've had some facts and business yeah, coming. Yeah, we really treasure the fact that you're here. Um, the last few weeks have basically made my daughter's dreams come true. And I would like to thank you all for, for participating in that. I ask you to, hang on, maybe I should check with Laura before I do this, but I've forgotten anything. <laughs> is, it, is it okay now? It's okay now. So, um, I would like you to raise your glasses and, and just toast a very special couple to Sam and Matt. Sam and Matt! Sam and Matt! Woo! Woo! Alright, yeah. Thank you very much, thank you.